Hello everyone. This lecture will be about understanding the second type of high voltage, which is high voltage AC at high frequency, and how to use Tesla coil to generate this type of high voltage. First of all, high voltage AC at high frequency can be generated using Tesla coil, or it's also called high frequency resonant transformer. We have two types of high voltage AC at high frequency. The first type is undamped high frequency oscillations. This is the waveform of this type. As we see, the uh, oscillations are not damped. And this type of oscillations don't occur in power systems, but it's useful for testing purposes. So it doesn't occur in the power system as in power system. Resistance exists, so resistance will help to damp the oscillations, so this type don't occur in the power system. The second type is damped high frequency oscillations. This is the waveform of uh, this type. As we see, there, there is damping in the waveform or in the oscillations, and the frequency is high, of course. And also, we have the peak voltage that may reach 2000 kV. Damped high frequency oscillations occur in power system due to lightning strokes or switching actions. So, in power system, if any oscillator or high voltage equipment in the power system is subjected to lightning strokes or switching actions, so this insulator or this high voltage equipment may be subjected to this type of oscillations, which is damped high frequency oscillations. So, we need to generate this type of oscillations in high voltage lab to test the insulator or the high voltage equipment before they can be used in the power system. So how to generate this type of oscillations, which is damped high frequency oscillations, it can be produced using Tesla coil. Now let's see Tesla coil and see the construction of Tesla coil, this great invention that's invented by the great inventor Nikola Tesla. This is the construction of Tesla coil. Tesla coil consists of four, five main parts. The first part is the transformer, step up transformer to step up the voltage to obtain suitable high voltage. The second is the primary coil of Tesla coil, which has low number of turns. And also we have a capacitor that's connected to the primary coil. Also we have a spark gap, and we have the secondary coil, which has large number of turns. Also, we have the top load, which acts as a capacitor with ground. Let's see the equivalent circuit of Tesla coil. This is the equivalent circuit. First, we have the AC supply. Then we have the step-up transformer here. Also, we have the spark gap, which is here. We have also the capacitor which is connected in series with the primary coil here. Also, we have the secondary coil of Tesla coil, which is connected in series with the top load, which acts as a capacitor C2 with the ground. So this is the equivalent circuit of Tesla coil. But now we should understand what is spark gap. Spark gap plays an important role in high voltage engineering, and it has an important concept. So what is spark gap? Spark gap consists of two conducting spheres and there is air gap between the two spheres. So how spark gap works? The distance between the two spheres is adjusted to make breakdown in the air between the two spheres at a specified voltage. When the breakdown occurs in the air between the two spheres, then this air becomes conducting here, becomes conducting here, and the configuration of spark cap then allows the flowing of the current. So it will allow the flowing of the current here. So spark cap here can be considered as a controlled switch. This switch will be closed at a specified voltage. This voltage is controlled by controlling and adjusting the separation of the air gap between two spheres. So this is the concept of the spark gap. Now let's see the operation of Tesla coil and how 
this configuration can produce high voltage AC at high frequency. First, the transformer is used to boost the voltage to obtain high voltage. This is a function of the step up transformer. It's used to obtain high voltage here, so high voltage here is obtained. Okay. The second, the power source is transferred to the primary coil. As we obtain high voltage, the power is transferred to the primary coil in this direction. As we see, this is the direction of the power in the primary circuit of Tesla coil. Okay. The primary coil's capacitor C1, which is here, is charged. So it acts like a sponge and soaks up the charge. So C1 is charged through the primary circuit of Tesla coil and also as C1 charges the voltage between the spark gap increases. Once the capacitor which is C1 attains a high enough voltage the spark gap fires and conducts. When the break down voltage of the air is applied between the two spheres and this voltage is controlled and adjusted by adjusting the separation between the two spheres then the spark gap fires and conducts as we see then the spark gap is now short circuit that completes the resonant circuit of the primary inductor and capacitor at this moment when the spark gap fires and conducts here we have a resonant circuit consists of capacitor C1 and the primary coil of this configuration which is L1 and also the resonance frequency will be 1 over 2 by root L1 C1 and this is the direction of power source at this moment the spark gap firing is virtually an instantaneous discharge of the capacitor energy into the inductor what is the meaning of that? the capacitor C1 acts like a sponge being instantaneously squeezed out so the capacitor C1 discharges quickly in very fast time <clears throat> and here we have a resonant circuit so high frequency is obtained by adjusting the value of L1 and C1 thus the charge can flow out of the capacitor C1 and swing back and forth many times very fast due to the resonance in the uh, primary coil of Tesla coil this means that current with high frequency oscillations will flow in the primary circuit of Tesla coil these high frequency oscillations are obtained <coughs> due to the resonant circuit of the primary coil after that these high frequency oscillations that are produced in the primary circuit of Tesla coil these oscillations will be transferred to the secondary circuit of Tesla coil by oscillatory current in the primary so as we see oscillations are induced in the secondary circuit of Tesla coil by oscillatory current in the primary so this is the direction of high frequency oscillations in the primary and this is the direction of high frequency oscillations in the secondary but there is an important condition these oscillations will be at the same frequency as those in the primary if the inductance and the capacitance of the Tesla coil secondary which is L2 and C2 are tuned with the primary so the condition of having the same frequency of the primary circuit and the, and the secondary circuit which is L1 C1 equals L2 C2 this is the condition for the same frequency of the oscillations in the primary and the secondary so L1 C1 are adjusted and also L2 and C2 are adjusted to have L1 C1 equals L2 C2 if we do that the oscillations in the primary circuit and the secondary circuit of Tesla coil will be at the same frequency after that the secondary coil has a two load capacitor that concentrate all the current 
and can eventually shoot out lightning like bolts as we see this is a production of sparks and lightning produced from the top load of tesla coil with the ground here and also this is another photo for uh, tesla coil and how it can be used to produce lightning or high frequency oscillations at high frequency also after that this operation will be repeated many times when the current through the air gap is no longer sufficient to keep the gap conducting the spark gap will be open circuit then the capacitor c1 is charged and the operation is repeated again so each time when spark gap fires and conducts a pulse of high frequency damped oscillations are produced since each pulse dies out before the next spark occurs and this is the reason of the damped oscillations now let's see the advantages of tesla coil for high voltage ac generation at high frequency the main advantage is the absence of iron core in the transformer or the tesla coil itself which leads to saving in cost and size so in tesla coil no iron core is used so that leads to saving in cost and size also pure sine wave output is produced with uh, damped oscillations slow build up voltage over a few cycles and hence no damage due to switching surges as uh, we uh, see that the capacitor c1 is charged slowly and discharges discharges very fast so there are the advantages of tesla coil for high voltage ac generation at high frequency thank you and see you in the next lectures